into the steps and makes a statement. And of course, thank you so much for watching here at Right to Fight here on our YouTube exclusive OMWWE event. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, share this on as many platforms as possible. And of course, if you haven't already changed that subscribe button from red to gray, do it now if you wish uh, to watch more content like this, of course. If you want to find out when the next video drops, hit the bell button, uh, meaning you'll turn post notifications on. So every time I post a video to the channel, you are one of the first to find out about it. And now look at Liv Morgan, the Raw Women's Champion. And one of the ladies who have rallied to become, well, not just to become the Raw Women's Champion, but actually rallied uh, behind the fact that Raw actually was last to have a women's championship uh, throughout the series. SmackDown was the first once to have a championship in the women's division. Uh, oh, created for them. Becky Lynch was not too impressed with the Raw decision makers. Rallied for that title. The Raw decision makers agreed with her. And the title dropped at Raw Rumble. And it was a 10-woman Royal Rumble match to determine the first ever champion. And from that moment on, uh, Liv Morgan ended up winning that incredible contest with nine other competitors from both the Raw and SmackDown roster. And has looked like a very, very, well, I dare say determined champion since winning the goal. And now off the running Bulldog, Morgan going for the cover. However, Becky Lynch trying to squeeze her way back in to be number one contender. Um, it's very unclear what the rankings are in the women's division. Now look at the roll up by the champion. Morgan looking for it, doesn't get it. And another, this time with the O'Connor roll with a bridge and two. Very close, Becky Lynch. Looking all tangled up and going for a third now. Third time's the charm, right? One, two. Ooh. And Lynch kicking out. It's very unclear what the rankings are in the women's division. However, Becky Lynch has definitely got to be in the top three in my opinion. Some may think that Becky Lynch has been an afterthought as of recent weeks. However, I don't think that's the case. I dare say it. Watch out in the future for Becky Lynch here on the OMWWE Series. Definitely a future women's champion, whether that will be the Raw Women's Championship or the SmackDown Women's Championship. Keep your eye on Becky Lynch. And now both ladies fighting it out on the outside once again. Oh! Five men's carry slam onto the floor now. Now look at Lynch off the apron again. That's the second time. Of course, with the structure of the ring being as it is, there's a lot of steel beneath that apron. And now Liv Morgan. Uh-oh, guillotine with a roll through and cranks on the neck. However, Becky Lynch having none of it. I don't think she got it locked in all the way there. And now look at Morgan. Oh, gets the knees, but no, no, she doesn't get the knees, sorry. And off the rope. And yes, we'll get more detail on what happens with our right to fight eliminator match at the conclusion of this contest between Lynch and Morgan. So much to take it in, and another guillotine. Has she got it cranked in this time? Not quite. Doesn't look like she has the arms hooked. And that may cost Morgan because we know how effective that guillotine is for Morgan. Becky Lynch with the throat and showing off for the crowd here in Reno, Nevada. On our YouTube exclusive. And now here comes the man. Series of clotheslines followed up with a drop kick and now admiring her work. She's got the champion where she wants her. And now looking to stomp away. Oh. Ouch. 
And now look at this, Lynch maybe looking for the Bexploder, gets it! Gets the Bexploder, hits all of it. Oh, and a spinning kick. And an arm drag by Morgan Morgan trying to fight her way back into it. Has definitely proved herself. Some people definitely saying that Liv Morgan is an underdog. Some people even think she's underappreciated. Some people she thinks some people think she's underrated. I mean I can agree with all of them terms to a certain extent, but you've got to give it up to Liv Morgan in the series thus far. Been absolutely impressive. What a talent that the Raw decision makers have acquired on Monday Night Raw on this series. Definitely a huge pick. Also her opponent here tonight. A big pick as well. We've seen what she's done in IRL. And now look at this. Oh, and another throw by Lynch. This time onto the floor right in front of the IRL commentators. They're scattering around. As long as they don't come over to my table at the YouTube subscribe table, we won't have a problem. And now the referee up to six. Oh, and just breaks the count before the referee hits seven there. Oh, and now the knee. Lynch driving the knee on the point of the nose there. Liv Morgan, though, however. Oh, a neck breaker using the knees. And now Morgan may be setting up for them devastating knees. The wild child looking to put Becky Lynch away. Oh, and she does get it. She gets the knees into the cover. One, two, and Lynch. The very last moment gets the shoulder up and Lynch feeling the effects and now Liv Morgan assessing the situation usually that is an end of a match for Liv Morgan oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute oh my goodness disarm her disarm her Morgan in trouble oh my goodness and the champion taps out oh my goodness Becky Lynch with the win So congratulations to Becky Lynch at Right to Fight. Definitely keep your eyes on her if you're a fan of the series. Congratulations, the man.